homosexuality is evil. Outlawed Christian. Okay. You know what? I'm, I'm just going to smoke through this video because it doesn't make any difference. Obviously, you're going to make the assumption, and you're right, that I am a gay male. I like how you started your video. That though homosexuals seem to be condemned by the Bible, they still have all the ability to inherit the kingdom of heaven themselves just as any other person. Nobody's any greater or better or worse than any other. I love that. But after that, you took a completely different turn. You took it to a whole new different level. One second, please. So, uh, let's discuss your ideas here. Gays generally are abused sexually as children. Thus, they embrace the abusive lifestyle. Okay, why would anybody want to embrace the idea of being hurt? You need to understand how many people work with sexual abuse victims and perpetrators and exactly what the concept of that is all about and how the abuse not only affects them but also the perpetrator and the mind of thinking in which the thought train goes. We'll move to the gays are selfish and only want for themselves. I want to know where their selfish act in wanting to be able to love somebody and be loved. Wanting to be accepted for who you are, not what society gives you a title as. If you met half the people I know who are part of the gay community and you watched them walk down the street, you visited with them, you went places with them, you would never know. Because what happens behind closed doors in a personal home really is none of your concern. Oh, they hold hands and they kiss on the street. Okay. Well, if that offends you, why should the heterosexual community be allowed to do so? As far as I'm concerned, if you want to push the issue, public display of affection altogether shouldn't be allowed. Just a thought. They only want and like the lifestyle of homosexuality. It's not something that's a necessity. I tell you what. If, and I'm saying if, you're married or engaged or in a relationship, and they love and care for you and you love and care for them, I want you to dump them. I want you to get rid of them. I don't want you to talk to another soul. I don't want you to feel loved. I don't want you to feel cared for. I think being loved and cared for is kind of a necessity of all human nature. They need to rise above it. They need to grow, act, grow up and quit acting so immature. It's a want, 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 gimme, gimme, gimme concept to a child for candy or toy while they're walking through the store. You think of a five-year-old, don't you? Okay. And you know what? I'll admit it. There is a lot of people who push it in people's face. They want what they want. They want to get everything they can get from it. They don't give back. There's a lot of them out there. There's a lot of people in the heterosexual community who do the same thing, too. A lot of people will think when they think of the gay community of promiscuous, bar-hopping, drug-using, alcoholic men. There's a lot of promiscuous, bar-hopping, alcohol, drug-using, straight men and women, too. So, that has no validation. You'll never find a well-adjusted homosexual with a long-term relationship. It's all temporary. Okay, I really should get a couple of my friends who I know to come on here to this video and explain to you how they've been together for, I think it's 46 years now. An open, proud, homosexual couple who've been together for 46 years. Wow, that relationship seems a lot longer than a lot of straight couples who tend to get a divorce after four. Hmm, okay. Homosexuals don't have a family. They only adopt. Well, obviously, procreation isn't possible between two men or two women. However, look at the rating of children being in group homes, children being in orphanages or halfway houses or whatever you're, the terminology people use now. Look at that. Look how many children don't have a home. They have a place funded by the state where they're literally shuffled around with a case number. I think adoption is the greatest thing in the world. I think foster care is the greatest thing in the world. For those who can't conceive a child, for those who find it more ethically and morally upstanding to say, yeah, we can have a kid, or no, we can't, whichever it may be, but we want to give a child a home where they are loved and cared for and attended to, I think that's better off than, oh, yeah, we have to be able to make a child. No, 
I don't agree with that. I think most often adoption and foster homes tend to be nine times out of ten more attentive to the child than those who have children. American Crossroads was just on last Sunday talking about how parents maybe should have a license to be parents because of how many don't take care of the children the way they should. Where if you look at adoption and foster homes, they have reviews on their home. They go in and they check how the lifestyle goes. They make sure those kids have a loving, attentive home. You said that something in reference to homosexuals being in churches. Only when they talk to Bible thumpers. And that they don't care what the Bible has to say. I am third in command of our gay pride parade. The state capital is gay pride parade. I'm third in command of that. But you know what? We have three churches that walk in that proudly saying we accept homosexuals because they are the children of God regardless of who they are. Y'all are children of God if you believe in Christianity. I know homosexuals who are pastors, rabbis, reverends, ministers, and the list goes on for the title. But I know a lot of people who stand and give sermons with credentials of ministry who are homosexual. It's all about faith. That's all it is. You say in all essence that homosexuality is evil no matter what it comes down to because it's a selfish desire. We're not going to debate nature versus nurture. We're not going to debate hereditary versus, or I'm sorry, we're not going to debate birth versus choice. We're not going to debate that. I don't. That's not a topic that I care to discuss because it has no bearing on it. You say that homosexuality is evil because it's a selfish thing. Somebody's selfishly going to choose, I want to be gay because I want to be hated. I want to be discriminated against. I want to be attacked. I want to be assaulted. I want to be not allowed to get married. I want to be told that I can't inherit my fiance because you can't get married. I don't want to inherit my fiance's veterans assistance through the VA. I don't want to receive the social security. I don't want to be able to be put on anything that allows me to have something that will help me out as a gay couple. The same helps out a straight couple. Homosexuality isn't just sex. It's not just physical, it's emotional, it's mental. It's the same love that anybody else holds for each other in a straight couple, gay couple, bisexual couple, love triangles, multiple partners, you know, however the relationship might go. Those who are true to care for each other. How is love and care and attention this evil? As long as it's done in good manner and for the benefit of everybody. Say they're selfish only. <clears throat> Homosexuals are just selfish, period. Okay. You need to look at how much money that the gay community puts into AIDS research. You need to look at how much money that the gay community puts into diabetes research, autism research, prevention, education. You need to look at how much money they put into volunteer work for those who are volunteers, but they support the organizations to help them. So that they can stop hate and violence and crimes and diseases and mental disorders. You say it doesn't matter whether you want to listen to it or not. That's the truth. The truth is, is you don't educate yourself very well. The truth is, is you have no factual standing. The truth is, a lot of us can't get evidence and references. Because a lot of it still hasn't been fully discovered yet. A lot of it still hasn't been fully studied. The truth is, there isn't much truth in what you said. 